Hey, welcome back. This is a, another unboxing video for the December big old box of stuff. Just came in today, day after Christmas, which is all good because you know how shipping works in December. It is absolutely crazy. So I am totally geeked. This is like Christmas after Christmas for me, and I've been dying to see what they pull out of the hat for this one, or in this case, out of the Santa sack. And I just want to go ahead and make note of the awesome tree next to the Bobos, because, you know, tree, cool. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. I got my uh, holiday tree here ready to roll. We're going to make this festive and uh, kick it in gear. So let's go ahead and open this up. I've already broken the seal with my scissors to uh, not make this video any longer than it needs to be. Let's go ahead and crack that open. We have a note on behalf of Team Bobos. Thank you for your order. We hope you enjoyed this big old box of stuff that was personally built just for you based on the information received from your Bobos questionnaire. This is the first box of your three-month Bobo subscription. Oh, yeah, three months. Here it comes. Bobo is already considering what to put in your next Bobos. Thank you again, and enjoy Team Bobos. Oh, yeah, Christmas is here again. Let's go ahead and flip that lid around so we're not blocking the Christmas tree here. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what we got. Of course, we got the paper and paper and more paper, and let's get that paper out of the way here. See you, paper. All right, here we go. We have a candy cane. Who doesn't love candy canes? I know I do. I'm sure you do. I'm sure your kids do too. So there you go, candy cane. Let's go ahead and jump right in. And the first thing I see is awesomeness in a box. It is Snake Eyes, the Funko Pop Snake Eyes. Um, circling back for a quick second to a little bit about Bobos. Uh, the big old box of stuff team is awesome. They are constantly looking at videos of unboxings and checking out the Facebook stuff and the posts and everything else. And occasionally they'll put up some pictures of some cool stuff, like, say, this, and a few other of the um, ones from the series here. And then a lot of times, if people tend to react to them, you'll end up seeing them probably show up in a box, like this one. Um, always been a G.I. Joe fan. They threw a picture of the Pops up a little while ago. I was all geeking out over the snake. And Hocus Pocus, there it is. Just like Santa sneaking in the back door there down the chimney, here comes Snake Eyes. So that is awesome. Thank you, guys. This is sweet. I'm really torn as whether to just open them up and throw them on my desk at work or just keep them in a box because the cool part about the pop boxes is they are really are meant for display. And let's face it, who doesn't like Snake Eyes? So we're going to shove that over to the side for now and hop right in here and see what else that uh, Boba's Claws brought us. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here. Let's see here. We have a pack of something. Let's see what we got here. Hey, it's Creo Transformers. This is Micro Changers. Uh, let me go ahead and get you a good shot of that there. Creo is kind of a new thing on the block uh, last couple of years. Uh, they're another building group where it's similar to Legos, only a little different, more action figure based and, and stuff like that. They do a lot of stuff with different properties from Harry Potter to G.I. Joe to Transformers. And as you can see here, they decided to roll out some line with the micro changers. It looks like these are part of a set. Extreme close up there. Yeah, even though my webcam isn't so hot. Sorry, guys. Um, so anyway, if you could see that, which you don't look like you can, um, there's a bunch of different um, ones you could actually get out of the blind bag. So we're going to go ahead and crack this thing open real quick because, yeah, why not? So let's go ahead and if I can get it open here. Come on. I got a corner. Does that count? Let's see here. Yay. Awesome. Get that bag out of here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. We have a little sheet here. I got Highbrow, which is a pretty cool character. Um, he is actually one of the Headmaster's characters from the original Transformer line from back in the 80s. Um, they give you some step-by-step -step instructions on how to assemble him, or if you're really daring, you can just go ahead and throw parts together and um, see what type of Frankenstein thing you make out of it. And hopefully it doesn't like, you know, get too off the rails on that. So this is pretty cool. I'll be playing around with this a little bit later. Um, thanks, Bobos. This is some cool stuff. Haven't seen these yet, so first time I'm getting my hands on these to go ahead and play with. So that should be cool. Uh, let's go ahead and delve a little further here. Get that paper out of the way here. And we're rocking the magnet. And the magnet is of Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, um, in this particular instance and incarnation, is part of the DC Bombshells line. 
which, like I said in the last video, is super popular right now with DC, and they are selling scads in pounds and truckloads of bombshell stuff because it kind of became a huge hit for them out of the blue, and they just ran with it. So as you can see here, got the cool magnet. Bobos always delivers on the high-quality mags. Um, as you can see, this is no different. Got a Zatanna one last month, which is pretty awesome, and this is a pretty nice one to go with it. So definitely appreciate that. On the back... They decided to go ahead and throw some buttons back up there because that's what Bobos does. They put some cool buttons in with their stuff as well. Um, following the bombshell line, they threw a little bit of Poison Ivy action in there with the Poison Ivy pin. Sorry about that glare there. Um, pretty cool stuff. I'm going to go ahead and put that over here for a second. And then I don't know what the second one is. Let's take a look at that real quick. And that is a Harley Quinn button to match the magnet. So that is cool. Again, like I said in the last video, everybody loves Harley Quinn, so that's always a winner. So, um, really cool stuff there. Let me go ahead and toss that down here. Again, one, one quick look at the magnet. Um, the artwork is really great on these. Um, the concept is definitely a bold direction for DC with the Bombshells line. Like I said, it's taken off kind of like a rocket for them. So, they've embraced that and decided to make it its own little mini brand within the DC universe, which is pretty cool. A lot of the fans have really latched onto it. So, cool stuff. Let's go ahead and jump in here and take a quick look at what else is in here. Ah, uh, yes. And we got a little bit of Walking Dead action going on here. And as you can see, this is Maggie Green, who is awesomeness on a stick. She is one of my favorite characters on The Walking Dead, with a couple of others in particular, like Carol and Daryl. Um, the McFarlane figures, uh, which is what this is a part of, are always high quality. Um, really good stuff. Um for that matter, really expensive stuff. Um, McFarlane figures are not cheap by any stretch. So this is really cool to get one of these. Um, I've been kind of looking at different figures and been real, really itching to kind of get going on a collection of these. Um, there's a couple different ones to choose from in this way. There's a Zombie Merle and a Glenn. And the Daryl on the motorcycle is a deluxe one. Um, it's a little more expensive, but it's a really cool. It comes with his bike and all that. Um, you got poor Tyrese here who became Zombie Kibble last season. Um, you got Merle Zombie, and let's face it, brothers are a pain in the neck as it is. When it's one of the zombie, it makes it doubly so. And then you've got, it looks like a charred zombie who, uh, got a little too close to the campfire there. So, he comes with a gallon of gas, it looks like. So, um, yeah, marshmallows not included. So, let's go ahead and throw that aside here. Go ahead and set that up, because that's going to look really awesome going into the collection. Maggie, like I said, is one of my favorite characters. Bobo, you guys rocked it on this. I appreciate it. It's really cool. She comes with a lot of nifty accessories, like the rifle. Uh, of course, most of them come with a blade of some sort. She's got a little pistol over here, too, as well, and a detailing on the McFarlane figures are pretty much the best on the market. You're not going to find a more detailed action figure than a McFarlane line figure, whether it's Walking Dead or Spawn or one of the many sports series that they do. They just knock it out of the park with the quality level. So really cool stuff. Let's go ahead and put that down here for a second. And, oh, yeah. Okay. It, it's funny how life tends to have balances. And this is no exception because for every Snake Eyes in the world, there must be a Storm Shadow. So this figure is really cool. Again, this is a callback to the original G.I. Joe stuff um, from the original series. Um, once upon a time, Hasbro realized that, hey, people love ninjas. And when I mean love, I mean L-O-V-E, capitalized, underlined, and boldface, love ninjas. This is no exception to that. In fact, this is the actual end result of that marketing um, epiphany. They decided to go ahead and really focus in the 90s on the Ninja Force line. And they redid most of the mainstay ninjas, um, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, and that's kind of when Jinx kind of got her big thing. Along, even, even brought in Scarlet for the ride on this one. Um, in addition, they brought in some other ninjas, Slice and Dice. As you can see up here, they had a couple of the other ones as well. Um, some of them were G.I. Joes, uh, like Tajang. And then Slice and Dice were kind of the head of the Cobra Ninjas. Nunchuck was in there um, and Dojo. Storm Shadow got a major revamp as far as the look goes. Um, this is back when he was kind of walking the line between the Joes and the Cobras. Um, back when he found out that, spoiler alert, Zartan killed the Hard Master, which was his uncle, which actually made him join the Cobras to begin with because he was told G.I. Joe did it. So, um, actually, I don't believe it was G.I. Joe. It was actually, he believes Snake Eyes did it. 
Sorry about that. Little retcon there. So, yeah, Storm Shadow saw a big um, revamp here. The Ninja Force figures even went one step further, and they actually did a line of these where certain variants glowed in the dark, and I'm not kidding. Uh, some of these were pretty wild. Um, the glow in the dark thing was kind of nifty as a gimmick, because, let's face it, everything in the 90s was pretty much a gimmick of some sort or another, some variation on a theme. So, this was kind of cool. Um, again, this is a nice little walk down memory lane. I, I love the Ninja Force stuff. All the Cobra Ninja stuff and G.I. Joe Ninja stuff is really cool. So, again, Bobos, really nice here. Uh, nicely played. Um, really cool. Looking really, really excited to go ahead and add this into the collection. Um, the Ninja Force stuff was always cool back then. It's still cool now. So, let's go ahead and delve a little deeper. We got a little note here from Bobos. Uh, it says, Leonard Nimoy said, the more we share, the more we have. So if you are happy with the stuff you received in your personalized big old box of stuff, please take a picture, make a video, hence the video, and share it with us on our Bobos Facebook page. It is an awesome way to build our community and spread the word about Bobos. Plus, everyone really enjoys seeing what other Bobos customers get in their Bobos. It's like seeing what everybody got for Christmas. We would really appreciate it. Thanks for your subscription and your support. A couple of quick things here. I want to go ahead and do on a side note as we're kind of cruising along in a video here. First thing I want to do is congratulate Team Bobos. Um, I saw the Facebook pay post about the fact that you had a 40% increase in your subscriber base this month. Nicely done. That is some amazing growth. You guys should be hella proud of yourselves. Um... I know, obviously, you've had some Christmas stuff going on there. You know, yeah, you kind of had a lot kind of getting shipped out this month. You guys handled it with amazing speed. Um, like I said, this one just arrived today, which is really, really good for Christmas, especially with the overload you guys got and all the new subscribers. I think it's an amazing achievement. Um, and hopefully you guys get constant growth moving forward, and, and it just gets bigger and bigger because... I'll tell you what, the reason I learned about you guys was from videos of other users, and that got me hooked immediately before I even got my first box. And when I got my first box, it was awesome. Um, this three-month subscription is, is the next level of that, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the next three months bring, and then from there on, moving forward even from there. So um, that being said, again, congratulations. Um, you guys really nailed it, and the growth is obviously a reflection of how much care you guys put into your product and how much care you take when it comes to making sure that your users are always walking away happy. Um, you guys are always great on Facebook and on social media. It, if more companies were like this, you'd have a lot happier consumers out there with these other companies. So, again, you're obviously doing something right, so congratulations and keep up the work. So we'll go ahead and toss this aside here real quick. Um, something to note here, um, most people tend to explain what big old box of stuff is out of the gate. Uh, real quick refresh on that, because I know most people tend to do it in their videos anyway. Big old box of stuff is a customizable subscription box that you can do every month. They don't renew your credit card, so when you pay for it, you pay for it up front, Whatever you pay for is what you get, and there's no renewing of the credit card or any of that other drama that tends to come with a lot of the other subscription boxes. The other really amazing thing about the big old box of stuff subscription is it is 100% customizable to the likes that you may have, whether it's G.I. Joe or Transformers or Twilight Zone or Firefly or Marvel or DC or, you know, different video games or Pokemon or what have you. It doesn't matter. Um, all geekiness is welcome at Big Old Box of Stuff. That's kind of their mantra, it seems like. So they always do some amazing things. Um... And they're really, as I said before, really interactive with their user base, and they love to get feedback, and they love to go ahead and just build on that, and they do an amazing job every single month with every single user. Um, I love watching the unboxing videos of other people because the amazing part of Big Old Box of Stuff, it's one of the coolest things when it comes to watching the unboxing videos, is that you rarely ever see anything get pulled out of a box that somebody else has already done. Once in a while, you'll see one or two things, but you never get an identical box. 
It's always a mystery. It's always fun to watch. It's, it's fun to watch others unboxing stuff as it is to unbox your own stuff in a lot of cases. Um, I'll tell you, I just saw some really cool videos recently that were really great. Um, I was real excited to see what some of these people were getting. I was real happy for them. Um, you know, like I said, you know, big old box of stuff is one of those things that is just chock full of surprises. You never know what you're going to get with them. And I'll tell you something else. From a standpoint of value, um, they really do just knock it out of the park with with the, with the dollar value. I don't. I try not to focus a whole lot on that. Um, ironically, it's one of those things that really is so much more enjoyment in seeing the cool stuff that they come up with than it is trying to simply do the math on these boxes. Because let's face it, this is all supposed to be fun. And if you're not doing it for fun, you're do, simply doing it for the wrong reasons. And that's exactly how Team Bobos does their thing. They like to have fun with this stuff. They love to make sure that their fan base and their subscribers are incredibly happy. Um... I was watching a couple of recent videos um, from Angel Otter and Ashley Thompson um, and Tux Toys. They had some really great boxes. Um, really love some of the stuff they got. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what some of the other users get this month as well. Um, but I'll tell you, like I said, I'm real excited because, you know, and you'll see that as you're, as you're looking at other boxes too, it's just a lot of fun. It's all about a celebration of geekiness and nerdiness, and it's just a great thing to have. So let's go ahead and get off the soapbox there for a minute, and let's go ahead and uh, get back into the box here for a minute, and look and see what else is in here, and wow, these are cool. All right, uh, so real quick, um, like I said, big old box of stuff and their team make it a habit of watching unboxing videos or using the most they can out of their surveys or looking at posts on Facebook and stuff. Um, I did make mention that in the last video that my absolute two favorite characters were Magic and Colossus from the X-Men. Um, they're not, you know, I'm not a huge Wolverine person, you know, and there's a few of the others I'm not really too into. I've always been kind of on the more fringe characters, Magic and Colossus being two of those. So a big old box of stuff decided they were going to go ahead and hook me up. And what we have here is all four issues of the Magic Limited series back from the 80s. This is really cool. Um, this limited series is basically um, the background of how Magic got her sorceress abilities and how she used how she managed to learn how to use her teleporting abilities um, when she was kidnapped from the X-Men and her brother Colossus in general and taken to the realm of Limbo to go ahead and basically be the apprentice of him, and that is Bellicasso. Um, if you see some of the other X-Men characters, or at least warped views of them, are also in this, um, that is because during the course of the story, it's revealed that another group of X-Men tried to rescue her at a different timeline, and were trapped there, and most of them were killed, and a few that weren't were basically warped into perverted versions of those characters. Um... Magic had learned how to use sorcery from a version of Storm who had been trapped or who had learned to use white magic compared to dark magic. And she had learned how to create the soul sword and a few other things that she had used to free herself from Bellicasa would eventually take over Limbo as its new ruler. Um, a little bit of historical context for this. If you go look up Uncanny X-Men 160 which you'll know because it has a giant big red hand on the cover with a bunch of X-Men standing around it. Um, the entire four-issue series of Magic takes place during the same time frame as X-Men 160 because X-Men 160, as the first couple pages will show you, um, are her basically getting kidnapped into Limbo. And then once that page happens, this kicks in and tells the story. And then at the very last couple of pages of X-Men 160 is basically the tail end of part four, where she basically finds a way to free herself from Limbo and rejoins um, the Xavier School. And then eventually Xavier and Colossus talk her into becoming part of the school's newest team, which is the New Mutants, which it was the very first um, one of the very first comic runs I ever bought. So, um, wrapping this up real quick, I just want to say thanks to Team Bobos. Uh, this video kind of ran a little bit longer than expected, but I'll tell you what, you guys rocked it hard. Um, this was even better than the first box. Um, it's amazing. I don't know how you guys pulled this stuff off. 
I am so excited for the rest of the subscription. I can't wait to play around with some of this stuff and have fun. Um, I definitely, again, want to say thank you. Hopefully, those of you out there that are watching this video that have already subscribed get phenomenal boxes like the one I got. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Get out there, fill out a questionnaire. You know, even just try one month. Dip your toe in, try the one month. I guarantee you're going to want a three or a six after that. So, anyway, hopefully you guys out there had a great Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and shut this bad boy down and get back to the awesomeness in this box. Um, outside of that, have a great day.